Hello, again today we are looking at the Technomotor PC based multi brand diagnostic tool. In this video, we will be looking at steering, steering angle sensor calibration. The steering angle sensor is used on all vehicles with ESP, Electronic Stability Program, or DSC, Dynamic Stability Control. And various other manufacturers use different abbreviations and wording for this system. The steering angle sensor is required to give feedback to the ESP ECU of the position of the steering wheel and also the rate at which the steering is being turned. One example of why this feedback is needed is so that the ECU can know if the vehicle is oversteering or understeering and the ESP can apply braking force to the required wheel to straighten up the vehicle. Sometimes the steering angle sensor needs to be calibrated. For example, when work has been completed on the steering or after doing wheel alignment, or after replacing the steering angle sensor. And all Technomotor diagnostic tools can perform this on a huge range of European and Asian vehicles. The procedure for doing this varies from, from make to make, but the tool will guide you through the procedure. For example, on some makes, the tool may prompt you to turn the steering from full lock to full lock, and in other cases, it may prompt you to turn 10 degrees left-hand lock back to 10 degrees right hand lock and various various other various other procedures for doing this but as we said the tool will guide you through this uh, today we will be showing showing how to do this on a bmw 530 diesel e60 2004 so now we will open up the diagnostic tool here bmw Diesel. E60, 530 diesel. So then we go vehicle system selection and we scroll down to steering angle control SL, SZL0406. Screen shows the socket location and various other information. Click here, auto diagnostics. Now we're starting to try to communicate with the vehicle. Turn the key on, key is on. Now, the first screen then it shows the parameters, and in this case, there's only four, four parameters you can view in this, in this particular system. Steering wheel rotation, steering angle, steering angle sensor. Now, in this case, uh, we know that the steering angle sensor is calibrated incorrectly on this vehicle because the steering wheel is in the straight ahead position and, and, the, and the wheels of the car are pointing straight ahead. But yet, it's shown us that it's at 84 degrees of lock on the steering which this is in, incorrect. So um, one thing you have to do before you attempt to calibrate the steering angle sensor is make sure the vehicle is correctly, the alignment is correctly done and that the steering wheel is in the straight ahead position. And when we mean by alignment is correctly done that the front wheels are running, running through with, with the rear wheels in the straight ahead position. Wheel is in straight, straight ahead position. Go to here, set up, and you select steering, steer, uh, steering wheel calibration. So this is highlighted. You click here. Continue only if safe. Press F9. Ensure the steering wheel is straight. Press F9. Uh, now it's just letting us know that some of the other um, failure at the tire failure light will be will, will light up and that um, after completing this we will have to drive the vehicle to get the tire pressure warning light to switch off and also it's telling you that the ABS light and everything may come on and may, may, may flash while we're completing this you can ignore this So 
has the operation been successful? To check that it has been successful, we can go back to parameter status. And now when we click here, now you can see that the steering angle is zero degrees, where before it was reading 86 degrees or something like this. So, so that's, that's the steering angle self cal calibration completed. Thank you for viewing this and keep an eye on our YouTube channel for various other, other videos.